So let's go over these three looks. And as we go through, I'm gonna be breaking down a couple of principles that you can use to make your spring wardrobe great this spring. So let's start with the most casual look. And this is the short and t-shirt look. Now for me, I always like to build a look from the shoes up. And so when it comes to this casual look, I do like a loafer and or a sneaker in this picture here, you can see that I have some black leather loafers on. I've had these for a while, I actually really do love these. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of shoes that look like this, but these are Sperry's. If you do wanna check out any of the clothing I talk about in this video, I am going to link all of them in the description below. Now, when you wear loafers like this, you do need some no-show socks, and currently I don't have a favorite brand. I do have some Uniqlo no-show socks, and they're okay. They're not the greatest quality, but they have lasted a while. So if you need some cheap pairs, I would recommend that. I will update the description when I found a no-show sock that I really do love. So that might be there if you wanna go check that out. Now moving on up, we're gonna move to shorts. My favorite shorts are from Hylite. These are stretched, they're a golf short. Um, they don't make this exact one anymore, but it is an absolutely incredible short. And so the thing here is you wanna find a brand that makes short look and fit that you like. And so with Highly, the problem that I had was I was testing things out, this was for a video, and by the time I figured out that I liked them, they didn't have any other colors, so I couldn't order multiples. But what I would have done here if I could have is ordered three, four, five colors of this same exact short, because I know I love it, I know it fits perfectly, I just need different colors in it. Moving on up, we have a t-shirt. This one here is from Woolen Prints. I love Woolen Prints. Their fit is a little bit looser, and so in the springtime when it's getting a little bit warmer, on these warmer days that you're gonna be wearing shorts, this shirt does keep you cooler, and it's just a great option for any warm climate. Again, I have linked this in the description below. Now the second look is for those colder days when maybe it's not quite warm enough to wear shorts, maybe not even a t-shirt. So we're gonna break this look down from the bottom up. First, shoes again are important here, and I like leather sneakers with jeans. If I wanna dress it up a little bit, I will wear the shoes I'm gonna talk about in look three, so stick around for that. But my recommendation is find a good solid brown leather sneaker or white leather sneaker because these are gonna go with almost anything that you're gonna wear. So moving on up, you are going to want a perfectly fitting pair of jeans. And I recently did a video on that. You can click the link above if you wanna check that out. But when it comes to jeans in the spring, you do want say a lighter wash. If you're going out on a date, maybe you can use a darker wash, but either a light or medium wash. Here is one of my favorites. This is called a dark wash from Fran Denim. This is linked in the description below and I have the code muscular10. Give you 10% off, but these are absolutely amazing jeans. I love them. And Fran Denim does have a light wash also, and it's absolutely perfect for the springtime. All right, so moving on up, we have a basic t-shirt. Now this t-shirt here is from Muscle Fit Basics. And I recently reviewed them. If you wanna click the card above, you can watch that review. But these are the most luxurious and best fitting cotton t-shirts I have ever found. I would recommend getting some lighter colors, so maybe a white or light gray. You can throw in some darker colors as well if you have some contrast. Say if you have a light pair of jeans, you can wear a black t-shirt like the one I'm wearing now, which is also from Muscle Fit Basics. Really, you just want a clean, simple look here that if you picked any of the t-shirts that you purchased or any of the jeans, with very few exceptions, and then threw on your pair of sneakers, you would look great. The one exception here is if you have, you know, say a black shirt and then a black jean and then a white or brown shoe. It's not really a great spring look, but if you have some contrast there with a black shirt and a light wash pair of jeans or a black pair of jeans and a white shirt, you can make this a little bit more spring appropriate. I hope you're enjoying this content so far. If you are, please like the video and comment below with your favorite spring look. The last thing I wanna talk about is make sure that you have a solid jacket. I do have several different jacket videos. And again, I'm gonna link those in the card above. That way you can check those out. But find a jacket that you like the look of and that is versatile for when the temperatures drop below what's comfortable in just a t-shirt. Now this last look is if you need to dress up for something, if you are going on a nice date or you just need to dress up a little bit maybe you work in an office where you can't just wear you know t-shirts and jeans and so this look is kind of that business casual we're going to start at the bottom again and these are Allen Edmond double monks these are absolutely my favorite pair of dress shoes as far as being versatile when dressing down and dressing up I do have a favorite pair that is just for dressing up if you're just going to buy one pair of dress shoes I would recommend the Allen Edmond Double Monks, and these are linked in the description below as well. Now, I do wanna to touch on something here, and socks are important when you are wearing a dress shoe. My favorite are boardroom socks. They go up over your calf. They're 100% merino wool. You can get some blends or you know cotton, different things like that if you want. My favorite are the wool ones, and these are absolutely perfect because as you'll see here in a second, they need to be long enough to help keep your shirt tucked 
stick around and we'll talk about that. Next, we are going to move to your pants. And these again can either be jeans. In this case, I would do that dark rinse or you can wear a more casual trouser if you look at these trousers here. This is a fresco trouser made by Smith Bespoke and is absolutely hands down the most beautiful pair of trousers I own. And come springtime, these are my favorite and my go-to. Now next, you want a dress shirt. I recommend some blues or some fun colors or patterns that are a bit smaller. Um, really just go casual here. If you do need to dress it up a bit more, you can go that solid light blue or white, um, but just have a little bit of fun here. Um, I do recommend getting some shirt tail garters. Now what these do is they help keep your shirt tucked in. Uh, they just attach to the side of your shirt and then your socks, which is important for you know why we have over the calf socks and long enough over the calf socks. And you just clip these on and this will help so that when you're moving around, you're doing things, your shirt doesn't come untucked. Absolute worst thing in the world is tucking a shirt in all day long. These have eliminated that for me. So these are an absolute must for any muscular man trying to elevate his style. Now the last thing here, I am throwing on a sport jacket and a more fun colored sport jacket. I'm gonna show you a couple of here. Uh, the first is a burnt orange, which I absolutely love. Again, both of these are from Smith Bespoke. Uh, they were made bespoke for me and these are just amazing. So this first jacket is a burnt orange hop sack. It is one of my favorites. When I first ordered this, it was kind of just a request from my son. It is an absolutely beautiful color and it's actually one of my most worn sport jackets. So I am happy that I listened to my son and got this burnt orange jacket it is absolutely beautiful. This next one I want to show you again from Smith Bespoke. This is a bamboo jacket, beautiful, absolutely soft, and it's in a red and blue. And this does go well with the trousers that I mentioned earlier, as well as jeans in dressing up a little bit. One other benefit of having a sport jacket like this is if you're going into an environment where that might be too bold or it might be dressing you up too much, all you have to do is slip it off and you're still dressed up a touch. I wouldn't throw on a tie in the spring unless you know you are wearing a suit or you have something more formal go to go to. With this look, it's not really a tie look. I do wear ties quite frequently because I have lots of them and I love them. But with this case, I may or may not wear a tie and it would be a casual tie, which is a topic for another video. Now I wanna end this video with giving you a couple of tips on how to elevate your style this spring. The first tip is colors. And when it comes to colors in spring, lighter colors, funner colors, really just the colors you think of when you think of springtime, add some of those into your closet. I do recommend almost always just having a core wardrobe that can be worn year round. So, you know, black, white, navy, just these basic colors. Um, but in the springtime, feel free to pull out some funner colors. Um, I absolutely love the color green. And so I'll pull out maybe some light or dark green, different things like that. As you move throughout the seasons, the colors that are appropriate do change. And if you do want to see videos on you know the different colors that are appropriate for each time of the season, please let me know in the comments below. Now, the second tip I want to leave you with I've already mentioned multiple times but that is to find your standard look for me I have the t-shirts that I love I have the jeans that I love I have the shorts that I love the shoes I just know exactly what my look should be during the summer. As a style content creator, I do try different things more often, more frequently than you should, um, but that's to create content and, and to help you guys find the best brands. So I don't recommend doing that, even though that is what I do. So find your staple look and stick to it and just experiment with different colors and different basics in there. Now, the last tip that I have, I have mentioned again, is to find brands that work for you. I have specific brands that I keep in my closet. I do rotate other ones through to try to test them, but but in my daily wear, if I'm not testing something out, I have specific brands for each thing that I turn to and that I stick to. And so my recommendation for you is to either watch my videos, watch other videos, go find the brands that fit you perfectly.